What's up, YouTube? My name is Blaze, and I wanted to bring you guys along on my first uh, DoorDash vlog. So, a little about me. Uh, my real name's Mike. I live in Central Illinois, a little town outside Peoria. I've been dashing on and off since the pandemic in 2020. So, on and off three years. Uh, I don't multi-app. DoorDash is my only side gig. I have a full-time job. I'm a delivery driver. Work a lot. My main job and DoorDash is basically just my side hustle. Uh, I do a dinner rush three, four, five nights a week, just depending on how much time I have and what kind of shifts I can pick up. Um, this week so far has been kind of slow. I don't know about anybody else. Last week was pretty damn busy. I made almost 300 bucks last week part-time. That's just a few hours a night after work. This week, this week hasn't been good. Starting Sunday. Sunday was almost dead. Last night was okay. I had too many miles for how much I made. And I've been on right now for almost an hour. I've had one order for 10 bucks. So it's not going so good so far, but we'll, we'll see. So I just accepted this McDonald's order, 10, 10 something dollars for six plus miles. It looked like it's keeping me in town, so it should be a pretty easy order. This McDonald's is usually okay time-wise, sometimes a little bit of a wait, but not terrible. I stick to my zone. I don't go to other zones. I stick, my little town has about 15,000 people, and I sometimes go a little community north of me, and I'll sometimes go a little south of me, but I don't go into Peoria, I don't go into Pekin, I don't go over to Bloomington. My full-time job's kind of demanding time-wise, so I'm not really one to go with other zones if my uh zone isn't busy i just log off and go home i got plenty of shit i could be doing at home so like i said i my goal is just to get 50 dollars a night if i can get 50 dollars a night in two maybe three hours at the most that's all i'm trying to get this isn't a uh, full-time job for me so if i can get 50 dollars a night cool with me that's that's my goal uh, I'm on my way to McDonald's, so I'll pick pick you guys up after I go pick up the McDonald's order. I just dropped off the first McDonald's order, and that was easy. It was only 0.3 miles away from McDonald's. I walked in, both orders were done, ready to be picked up. That was easy as can be. On my way to the second order, it's about a mile, a little under a mile and a half away, and it keeps me in town. So that makes up for that first really long, stupid order I took. But there wasn't anything going on. I just wanted something, something to do, something to get, get me going. So after this, I'll have about $21. So far, I've been on for about an hour and 15 minutes. Not great, but could be orders for McDonald's, a few for Taco Bell. There's two Mexican restaurants. Um, Hardee's and KFC, I don't like picking up from KFC. They're usually slow and they're out of shit, like, constantly. So I normally don't like going there unless it's dire and there's nothing else to do. So, but on average, I usually make about $200 a week. Averaging about $20 an hour. I just, I don't have the patience, nor the, uh, nor do I want the commitment of a, another part-time job I like dashing just because I can log on mostly whenever I want a, another boss to deal with if things are going slow I can go home if my main job keeps me late I can just choose not to dash if I don't want to so I am on the waiting list for Amazon Flex I might try that I might go to Amazon Flex but for now, dashing's all right. I'm going to Florida for vacation in three weeks. So that's why I've been busting my ass dashing to get some more. Just picked up that McDonald's order. 
it's only going two miles it's going up to the retirement home i think so not too far from here order was almost ready pretty pretty easy after this i think i'm going to head down and sit by papa john's the papa john's isn't too far from my house so try to go down there and get some pizza orders pizza orders here usually tip pretty well and if they're busy you can make pretty good money down there doing papa john's orders I think I'll be up to about $27 an hour and a half after this. Could be better, could be worse. We'll see how long I dash tonight. I started at 6.15ish and it's now 7.30 and I'll be up to $27. I usually schedule from about 5.30 to 9, 6 to 9, just depends. I try and dash Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll take Thursday and Friday off. Sometimes Saturday night, sometimes Sunday nights. It just depends. After I go to Florida next month, I'm going to calm down on my dashing a little bit. I'm basically just busting butt on DoorDash to pay for my Florida trip. So we'll see. How much I, I'll probably calm down back down to just a weekend to maybe one day during the week. I need to get back into the gym. I've kind of been neglecting my gym time here lately to door dash. I've been, I started back door dashing again after being off for a year or two. I started back up in July and I've been kind of grinding hard since then. So, well, I'll get back to you after I go drop off this McDonald's order. So I got this Pizza Hut order I declined down in Morton. 11 bucks for 14 miles plus it's a uh, collect cash order. I don't like doing those. And it's 7.30 and I don't want to drive down to Morton. Uh, it was under a dollar a mile. So I went ahead and declined that. I'm driving back, back down by Taco Bell and couple other places hopefully I can get something here I'm gonna go sit there for a little bit and if not I'm gonna go try and get me some Papa John's orders it'd be nice if I can get my 50 bucks and go home so I'll see you guys again whenever I get another order so I went ahead and my better judgment and I took this KFC order Usually they are slow as hell. Slow and half the time they don't have chicken or they don't have this, they don't have that. But it was for decent mileage. It's taking me back towards my house. It's taking me back towards Papa John's. So we'll, we'll see. Let's, let's see if it plays out, how it plays out. A little about me and my stats. I'm not much of a perfectionist, but I have a 100% completion rate. It's probably cost me some money a few times, but I just, I'm too stubborn to quit out of orders. I've never had an order take that long to where I had to just completely unassigned from it. So it's 740. Well, let's, I'll check in with you guys here in a minute after I get down, go pick up KFC. I'll let you know how it plays out. So I'm actually kind of shocked that KFC order, they were working on it when I got in there. It only took them a couple minutes to finish it. So, so good on KFC for once. But it's taken me back across town, back close to my house, back down by Papa John. So I think I should be up to like 35, 36 bucks after this. So hopefully I can get a decent Papa John's and close my night out. It'd be nice to get. So I dropped off that KFC order. 
and she was sitting outside waiting for me she was a sweetheart she was really nice and she gave me five dollars to tip on top of what she tipped on the app so that was nice of her um i also declined the cvs shop order i normally don't do shop orders i'm lazy i just i don't like doing shop orders because it just does to me and for what they pay here it just doesn't seem to be worth my time plus i'm lazy as hell so i'd rather just sit here in my car and wait for wait for a good order instead of go walk around in a store looking for shit that's normally not in stock anyway so um here i am sitting outside papa john's it's 801 let's see how long it takes to get a papa john's so I got this order from the Mexican restaurant. It looks, looks like a good payout. And I just got a text from DoorDash saying the order's ready. So let's let's go. So I did make my goal. $50 in just a little over two hours from when I left my house. So we made it. I did decline $2 general shopping orders. One of them was just too far, and the other one took me over into Peoria, and it's 8.20, and I just don't like going into Peoria at night. I don't like dashing over there. I had an ins instance over there three years ago during the pandemic. I just, I don't like dashing in Peoria. So, but here I am back home, uh, hit my goal, so, but I appreciate anybody uh, watching this video um it's my first vlog so if you got any criticisms any comments any help any tips tricks any of the above i really appreciate it i very thank you for tuning in and hopefully i can make another one of these tomorrow we'll see how my main job goes but i think i'm dashing tomorrow night maybe thursday I'm taking friday off and then saturday and sunday so hopefully I'll make another one of these week, this week. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.